नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई एम आनंद नरसिम्हन द जी ट्वेंटी शेरपा अमिताभ कांत इज क्वाइट चफ्ट दैट्स बिकॉज कोरी कोड ऑफ हु ही इज अ फॉर्मर कलेक्टर हैज नाउ बीन क्राउंड एज द सिटी ऑफ लिटरेचर by UNESCO meanwhile GST revenue collection for October 2023 is the second highest ever since the goods and services tax came into being 1.72 lakh crore rupees was collected in October which is a 13% up year on year increase yes average gross monthly GST collection now stands at 11% higher year on year Retail inflation for industrial workers is eased to 4.72% in September compared to 6.91% in August this year. Similarly, food inflation is also reduced to 6.52% against 10% of the previous month. And Bharat's infrastructure sector closed September quarter on a firm note. Automobile dispatches saw a record October as festivals kept the demand up. highlighting the twin drivers of the economy government capital expenditure and high end consumption the index of eight core industries rose 8.1% in september from a year earlier prime minister narendra modi interacting with india's uh, para asian games contingent at the major dhyan chand national stadium in the national capital he congratulated them for outstanding achievement and of course motivated them for future competitions bharat has won a total of 111 medals this year which is a 54% increase over the previous best performance in 2018 but ladies and gentlemen we set up debate number 1 of the conversation around the entire hacking episode snoop gate 2.0 and the george soros connection whose mischief is it Why is this Apple alert come only to opposition leaders and to some journalists, and not to anybody from the ruling party? You're asking for the government to clarify. who's behind the alert and who's hacking who these are questions that remain ladies and gentlemen even as a few members of parliament received an alert on their apple devices and this happened on uh, tuesday warning them of a possible attack or threat from state sponsored attackers that prompted mps from largely from the opposition block in fact all of them from the opposition block to point in the direction of the modi sarkar and blame them for hacking and snooping on their devices now This Wednesday comes a big twist in the entire case. The BJP alleging that the opposition had fallen prey to a sinister plot laid by billionaire investor George Soros. Either they had fallen prey to it, or they were only singing the same tune, or something which was part of the larger Soros toolkit. Now let's take a look at what exactly are the allegations that the BJP is making. First up, the first big claim is communication was sent by an NGO linked to George Soros. BJP's claim number 2 is that Apple's follow-up text was sent by Soros's organization. BJP's claim number 3 is the follow-up mail suggests Soros linked to accessnow.org. And claim number 4, Soros funded the NGO working with the tech giant. Clear connection between the alert and the Soros funded uh, NGO. And the sixth claim is 
Soros funded organization's digital security helpline cited this alert. There's another claim, number seven. The opposition is actually providing a platform to George Soros who's trying to undermine Bharat and its growth story. Now, whether this is foolproof, this link is foolproof or not is a subject matter of debate but and also investigation. But many experts believe that it's not far-fetched given George Soros' antecedents. Who is George Soros? George Soros is a Hungarian-born American billionaire investor who is accused of trying to meddle in the democratic processes across the world on many occasions. So if there is really a Soros' link, here's why it's a problem. He's a man who's quoted many controversies, especially in Bharat's context. He's the person who said that he's going to set up a billion dollars to remove some of the leaders who he believed are not aligned to his ideological and thought process and that included Prime Minister Narendra Modi, a comment he's made way back even ahead of the 2019 elections. A mega political war actually broke out when Rahul Gandhi met Sunita Vishwanath, who's been accused of being quote-unquote a Soros, Soros proxy, alleging that her organization for Afghan women received funds from George Soros. Now, amid the war of words, Soros's NGO Open Society Foundation's Vice President Salil Shetty walked with Rahul Gandhi on October 11, 2022, during the Bharat Jodo Yatra. George Soros had in 2020 announced a plan to set up a billion dollar fund to build a global network of higher educational institutions that will help students put up a resistance against growing nationalism. Soros had also said the biggest and most frightening setback to open societies comes from Bharat where a democratically elected Narendra Modi is creating a Hindu nationalist state. Bharat has been watching out for Soros and his organization, the Open Society Foundation and its activities. It, it was even put on a watch list by the Home Ministry back in 2016. Also, why is, why is or why was Soros' NGO put on the watch list? Open Society Foundation started operations in Bharat back in 1999. Now, it is accused of supporting anti-Bharat elements inside the country. The organization allegedly funded left-leaning media organizations in our country. OSF is believed to have collaborated with pro-Pakistan, anti-India narrative peddlers. OSF also funds several NGOs in Bharat. And this is not at all, even the entire caste-based litigation which is being pushed in some of the cities in the United States, we are given to understand the allegation is that it is OSF-linked entities. And even certain Pakistan, pro-Pak entities, ISI-backed entities have also got direct indirect links with former members of Open Society Foundation saddling those. And it's a very complex flowchart which is out in public domain ladies and gentlemen so the question is whose mischief is it and who's behind this threat apple or soros hello moto well we should add another question who's behind the hacking who's the state sponsored entity Sanju Verma, national spokesperson of the BJP, is with us. Anand Ranganathan, author with us. Sanjay Jha, political mm -hmm. analyst with us. Javed Ansari, senior journalist with us. Namaste, Jayan, to everybody. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. Sanjay Jha, what would you infer? Access.org sends this alert of a state-sponsored hack alert. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I answer you yes, very quickly? Yes, please. Uh, in bullet points, and I'm going to once again request no interruption from anybody. I won't take too long. The BJP is the biggest fake news manufacturing company in the world. So I am right away at the very beginning going to tell you it's so paranoid when it gets caught that it looks for, you know, somebody to blame. And what is more convenient than some foreign conspiracy that 99% of Indians don't know, but the rhetoric can fly. Point number two, let's go back very quickly, Anand, to the Pegasus spyware issue. Hmm. The Narendra Modi government, the Supreme Court said, did not cooperate with the investigation. They had appointed a special committee. Hmm. The viewers of your program, a very popular program, should know why did the Narendra Modi government not cooperate with the investigation? Food for thought is a very serious acquisition made by the Supreme Court. Hmm. Point number three, 
five of the 29 phones given many people were so scared of giving their phones they would have pegasus implanted on them but 29 people gave it five of those phones were found with malware hmm. now here is what the supreme court said it said we could not confirm that they were pegasus so it was in a sense inconclusive hmm. but the question that comes up is that 16 percent of the phones were infected with spyware hmm. point number three Huh. Very important. Very important. You know, India struck a deal with Israel in 2017 worth two billion dollars, hmm. and we all saw pictures of Netanyahu and Narendra Modi walking in the beaches near Israel. Right. Here is the point. Here is the point. Hmm. The New York Times established the fact hmm. that there was a purchase of Pegasus in that deal in Parliament. The IT minister said, or rather, did not confirm or deny whether Pegasus was bought or not. Hmm. The simple question that anybody is asking even today right. is, "Bhaiya, ab ye to batao, Pegasus apne liya tha ya nahi liya tha?" Because hmm. the NSO Achha, can Sanjaya, only sell now Pegasus I have to interrupt to because you said you'll not take no, too no, much no, of no, time. No, 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 no. Just give me one more minute. I okay. have done. Okay. Just one more minute. Okay. The minister was asked, "Did you buy Pegasus or not?" Hmm. He did not confirm. He did not deny. Hmm. I'll tell you why the government actually lied to Parliament and to the Supreme Court. Because the New York Times came out with an investigation in 2022 hmm. where they said that Pegasus was around valued at 300 crores and was part of that Israel deal. Hmm. Which means Mr. Modi's government hmm. misled the Parliament and the Supreme Court. Right. By the way, Nobody from the government has yet gone and challenged the New York Times report other than the spokesperson saying that it was a New York Times Correct. report. Correct. My, last, my last point, and I'm okay. done with that. Okay. Last part, we're done with that. Take Obviously, care. only the opposition leaders have been targeted, but the very important point, hmm. in 2019, hmm. WhatsApp said that the Pegasus software was being used in the video cause to target journalists and activists Linking back once again to the Bhima Koregao case. Mm. I think this government has been snooping. It started in Gujarat. It continues today. Right. Okay, you made a lot of Thank points. You, uh, Thank you, Anand. Uh, Sanju Varma uh, will respond to a lot of the political allegations. I have just one or two observations which I would like to park in for the benefit of our viewers and our fellow panelists. From my limited understanding of the tech world and Sanjay Jha, you had entered the tech world much before I did and you also uh, you know, turned entrepreneur and sold off to a higher bidder and congratulations on that. But the fact is there is a difference between spyware and malware, my limited understanding. So to use the term loosely is irresponsible. Secondly, sir, although you believe that the BJP and your allegation is that the BJP has jumped to guard and make it a foreign conspiracy, the alert says state sponsored, does not say which state. And that question has not been asked whether it is Chinese state back hackers, Russian state back hackers, North Korean state back hackers. And the fact is that this alert has been sent to more than 150 countries. So if it is the Indian state, why is it actually state sponsored in 150 countries, including Uganda? Point to ponder. I'm just making these alerts that nowhere in those alerts does it say it is a particular specific state or a specific entity backed by which state. It's not mentioned anywhere. Can I so, the, so no, no. So, so yeah, those, are, those are observations. Now, Sanju Verma, the political allegation that the BJP is busy snooping only the opposition because if it is a hacking effort, then anybody and everybody should get it. Why only the opposition MPs? You know, Anand, uh, good to be on your show, uh, as always. And, uh, you know, like I did not heckle, I want the uh, courtesy to be extended to me. Uh, and I say this because, I mean, Hali in the last 48 hours, even when I smile, the opposition panelist said, why is she smiling? Why is she nodding her head? It's come down to that, as bizarre as that. But anyway, given that your debates are the saner amongst the larger lot, I expect better from the panelists. You know, pointedly, First and foremost, the Hindi ki kahawat se shuru karungi. Ta umra galib me bhul karta raha, dhul chehre karthi, or me aina saaf karta raha. Rahul Gandhi, Omar Abdullah, Mamta Banerjee, Abhishek Banerjee, suspended variety of the Congress, sakko apne chehre se dhul saaf karne ki sak zarurat hai. And I'll tell you why. First and foremost, I will read out Ashwini Vaishnav's tweet of yesterday, or post rather where he says that Apple has also claimed that Apple IDs are securely encrypted on devices 
making it extremely difficult to access or identify them without the user's explicit permission. The encryption safeguards the user's Apple ID and ensures that it remains private and protected. The reason for starting off with this post by Ashwini Vaishnav, the IT minister, is to simply tell your audience that it's not that your phone is a state-sponsored attacker ke attack ho gaya and your phone gets compromised. No, because there are various filters and firewalls and your Apple ID is encrypted. So your data has not been compromised. Point number one. Point number two, this whole Supreme Court Judgment relating to Pegasus came up yesterday in the debates where I was there, including with uh, Mr. Jha and today as well. Yes, indeed, the Justice R.V. Ravindran Committee probed 29 phones. Out of these 29 phones, the important point to be noted is none of them were detected with Pegasus spyware. Point number three, five phones were detected with some kind of malware. But to say that spyware is akin to malware is akin to saying that Sanju Verma is Queen Victoria, Sanjay Jha is, uh, you know, Elton John, and Anand, uh, you know, Anand Narasimhan is Elvis Presley. Point number three, yes, the Supreme Court did say that the government did not cooperate. But to assume that non-cooperation on the part of the government means that the government bought spyware is like saying 2 plus 2 is equal to 22 jo ki yahan se alu dalo wahan se sona niklega unki biradri mein ye logic chalta hoga hamari biradri mein nahi point number 5 and very importantly at that the key stakeholders in the pegasus controversy were a b cyber firm nso which is an israeli company it said that we did not sell the spyware to india in india three companies or rather three outfits could have logically bought it hmm. the id intelligence bureau the raw or the uh, national security uh, council headed by ajit doval and when asked pointedly none of them admitted to having bought pegasus spyware but are you know every pinky and johnny and every tom dick and harry said are admit nahi kiya matlab spyware kharida hai hmm. point number six and very importantly at that, hmm. today we are giving a lot on the right to privacy. This is the same party which in 2010, when Congress was in power, it actually hacked into the emails and phones of Pranab Mukherjee. When he was alive, he mentioned as much and Manmohan Singh did not deny as much. This hmm. is the same Congress party which See, in 2010 now, used Arma, to please. intercept. Can I just finish in 30 seconds, please? Yes, it used yes. to yes. intercept. Please, use up your time. Okay, Let me okay, take okay. it in 30 uh, seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. This is the same Congress party which used to intercept 9,000 emails and 5,000 phone calls every day. But I will just end by saying this much. Hmm. The personal data protection bill was passed in the Lok Sabha in August 2023. Hmm. And the people who were clamoring that it should be passed are Rahul Gandhi and Kabal. But you know what, Anand? Hmm. After the bill was passed in Lok Sabha, the entire opposition, including Congress, walked up and Jairam Ramesh resigned from the Standing Committee of Science and Technology, saying, Are you bill passed? You what? So, in right to privacy, se lena dena nahi hai. whatever Modi right. does, that is harakiri no, and blasphemy for see, them. Baat itni si hai. But, but my simple my, uh, thing is, there is no evidence against it, and I have not done it. Those are two separate questions two separate responses. One is legally prudent. The other one takes a moral standpoint, clearing, saying that I have not done it. The other one is where is the evidence? There is a difference here, very clear difference. The other thing is one thing that stands out, which is why only opposition MPs have got this ML, uh, this email, uh, this alert on their Apple phones only. What happens? Android phones are not worth hacking or they didn't even understand. We don't know. The other thing, Javed Ansari ji, that dates so countries may same alert has gone. It's not specified any specific state-sponsored activity. Anand Raghunathan after Javed Ansari. Thank you for your patience. Yes. No, no. Javed ji. Look, the fact that uh, it's gone to uh, a number of countries and everywhere, it's the same thing. That you know, So perhaps uh, this is for Apple to, this is a very generic alert. And on this generic alert, uh, this whole furor has been. Apple should be more precise. And as far as this business of uh, this alert going to different countries it if it's gone to uganda or or it's gone to say uh, 
Pakistan, it, it's, it, it's their state, the state there, uh, probably the intention or the inference is that it's the state there is the government of the day in these countries which is hacking. Similar. But, uh, you know, to blame the opposition for, for, for protesting is a bit unfair. So what would you do, Anand, if, if you got an alert like this? Of course, neither of us are important enough for, for the government mm. to hack our phones, but uh, assume for a moment that you, uh, I had got, suppose I had got an alert, I would also protest. I would also try and draw the attention of authorities. The government says, the government has done. Uh, Sir, I, would, I will not blame do. Narendra Modi and the government. I will lodge an FIR and say, find out who's doing it. First of all, the FIR will lodge karunga, na, sir, cyber crime department. FIR will lodge karunga, main, uh, complain karunga, but capability is ke paas hai yaan. Who has the capability in the country? In, forget Narendra Modi, hmm. whether it's in the Congress regime or under any government. It, the first suspicion hmm. goes to whoever is in the government. It's the government doing it. Because largely till now, we know of governments doing it, not of... Uh, and if there are if there are corporates doing it, they will do it to corporates, not to individuals. No? The, the point is, sir, if there are people who are accessing a particular platform, and via that platform, a backdoor has been created which gives access to certain people, and if it is a state-sponsored hacker, sir, state-sponsored hacker is very different from the state itself hacking. And an alert like this, an alert like this is triggers, it doesn't say that your phone has been hacked. They're just saying there is an attempt and an alert and it's been blocked. It's just to alert you, alarm you, that switch off your phone or be behind the full. And it's a simple process. You can Google a process to say if your phone is being hacked or if it's been cloned or mirrored. It's, 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 a, it's a hash 6767 if I remember correctly and star or something like that which is very simple and knows all your apps, is it safe or not. It just gives you a random check immediately, it's possible. And Apple, it doesn't easily to so premium collect karte hain unke itni sari layers hain mera ye kehna hai should the, those people who have come out and made the allegations isn't the burden of proof on the prosecution anand ranganathan those who make the allegation they have to prove it they can't just shoot and scoot no uh, good evening anand and good evening to my fellow panelists uh, first of all can i please congratulate you and tell you that it's not for nothing that your show is the most loved one because uh, there are a uh, all the panelists respect each other even though they may disagree with each other and no one interrupts each other so it's just fantastic and congratulations to you the anchor anand i am congratulations afraid. to you the panelists mera kya hai isme aap log kar rahe hain thanks to you please carry on no, no, yes, but, but let, let, let me say the same four panelists or at least three of us We'll be fighting like cats and dogs in on other channels. So that's why I'm saying it's it's basically your your goodwill that uh, allows us to be uh, very thank sincere. You, but anyway, uh, Anand, I'm afraid there's been a massive misunderstanding. Hmm. This is not sta state snooping, but rather industrial espionage. It was Adani snooping on Hiranandani's iPhone, and because Hiranandani's iPhone was gifted to Ms. Mahua Maitra. <laughs> She concluded that Adani was snooping on her <laughs> and naturally Rahul Gandhi jumped in. His next allegation is going to be that Amit Shah's secret sister, Miss, the Nigerian widow Miss Odombe Uduba has been writing emails <laughs> trying to sequester all those millions of dollars that Rahul Gandhi has. <laughs> Look, notwithstanding that some same Apple notification has gone to 150 countries, hmm. that Apple has clarified, quote, Apple threat notifications may be false alarms. Mm. Apple does not attribute the threat notifications to any specific state sponsor attacker. Mm. We are unable to provide information about what causes us to issue threat notifications, unquote. Mm. Notwithstanding that the same notice has been received by Piyush Goel, according to the IT minister, to Samir Saran, president of ORF, Rahul insists he is mm. being snooped upon in all honesty. I think it is Congress that needs to snoop on Rahul more than the BJP to be forewarned of his forthcoming embarrassments. Look, look, Anand, illegal snooping is criminal. So if there is evidence that someone in the NDA authorized illegal snooping, we are talking jail term. Remember the controversy over Pegasus? Now it merits revisiting just a couple of minutes. Very mm. important. Yeah. Where was the smoking gun? Both the Indian government as well as the NSO denied involvement. Hmm. NSO even trashed the report saying the leaked numbers were not from their database. Was there any evidence that connected Indian government to Pegasus? No. 
the portal wire claimed the indian government used pegasus based on an analysis done by amnesty that itself would have raised eyebrows ek to karela upar se neem chada and the same wire later claimed the indian government was using tech fog app to snoop and collect private data a story that was discovered to be outright fraud but rahul gandhi who amplified that story never ever apologized crucially let us not forget hmm. that the supreme court did not find evidence of pegasus in any of the 29 phones it investigated or the five phones out of 29 it found malware to say malware is same as malware is like saying rahul gandhi is the same as amit shah look phone tapping of political opponents is probably as old as the telephone itself hmm. anand and every political party has been accused of it and every political party has done it from the 80s when the karnataka chief minister ramakrishna hegde had to resign because of allegations of phone tapping to when rajiv gandhi indulged in large scale phone tapping of his own cabinet colleagues including arif mohammad khan to when prime minister chandrashekhar declared that his hmm. own phone was being tapped to chewing gum being found under pranab mukherjee's desk every politician has snooped in 2014 parliament was adjourned because it was alleged that the bjp was tapping its own nathan gidgari's phone hmm. in 2010 up alleged tapped sharad pawar's conversation with moti in short have phone will tap therefore to give a government any government a clean sheet on tapping is not advisable i won't do it and mm. it's fraud with danger finally just 30 seconds also yeah. this point is subsidiary anand yeah. you know credence is given to any man's utterances only after knowing his antecedents mm. and over the last 9 years we have seen these claimants for what they are industrial scale liars from peddling fake church attacks to intolerance to emergency to rafal to judge lawyer to a thousand right. other issues they survive on quoting each other hoping if a dozen vacos quote the same lie it hmm. becomes the truth i mean i'd much rather believe in immaculate conception than the allegations made by these bottom feeders right you, you must you must you must explore the genre of satire you know you uh, uh, you're very good at it anand rangnathan so the next effort literary effort should be thus i have three authors in the midst actually four so phenomenal but one thing is certain anand anand one thing is certain with the network being so bad as it is in delhi there is no chance of us being tapped all mr amit shah would hear would be us screaming hello i can't hear you landline se karta hu very way sanjay ja and uh, sanjay ja quick round because i've got 3 minutes on the show so please quickly please yeah one one minute each sanjay ja one minute yeah. and i will interrupt yeah, you in 60 seconds please the same with sanju verma yeah. and javed ansari yes yeah yeah number 1 that no answer yet as to why did the government not cooperate on the pegasus investigation hmm. because that malware could have been a spyware number 2 no no confirmation from the government whether it bought pegasus or not by the way a new york times report that said that the pegasus was bought by the government which would be a contempt of the supreme court and a lie to the parliament hmm. has not been challenged by this government and i'm sure this truth will come out Point number three, you mentioned about the 150 countries to which the Apple sent the threat notifications. Anand, let me tell you that 150 countries is not today; it's since 2019. Yeah. Over the last four years, since since Apple started issuing the threat notifications, correct. It has sent it to 150 countries. Correct. What is so unusual about that? One minute. Point number four, huh. very important. Huh. Out of a dozen people who have gone public. Guess how many mobile phones do you have in India today? Twelve hmm. million mobile phones are using are being used in India. Twelve people have got the state-sponsored investigation threat. Anand. What is right. it telling you? No, no, no. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't say. I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I won't. I won't. I won't say that, sir. It is a it. sir. It does not say the Indian state. State-sponsored hacking is being done right. by specific nations who are infamous for it. Right. So, so have you discounted them? You have not. Who okay, ma- spyware and malware are two different problem. words, and they cannot be loosely no, no, exchanged. So the court has also not said spyware. It said malware, and it never. said pegasus uh, pegasus spyware it never said that so that's also there in the court judgment yes uh, sanju verma ji yeah anand no, you know, very quickly since i have just a minute yeah. sanjay ji please sanjay ji please sanjay ji please please heed please heed please heed please heed last 3 minute mein pura 25 minute ka itna humne shalinta se kiya usko na bigade please okay. yes anand anand i just have this to say pichle 24 ghante mein you know raja tha raja ki gardan tote mein hai और तोता यहाँ पर अडानी है वी बिन हियरिंग दिस नैरेटिव तो मैं राजा और तोते की कहानी को आगे बढ़ाते हुए कहना चाहती हूँ एक युवराज है और युवराज की गर्दन एक तोते में है 
और वो तोता उस तोते का नाम है जॉर्ज सोरोस एंड आई विल टेल यू वट आई फाइंड मोस्ट बैफलिंग इज द फैक्ट दैट एप्पल इज एक्चुअली डिरेक्टिंग पीपल हुज फोन आई फोन मे हैव बिन कॉम्प्रोमाइज बाई स्टेट स्पॉन्सर्ड अटैकर्स टू एन एनजीओ कॉल्ड एक्सेस नाउ विच इज ओन्ड बाई ओपन सोसाइटी फाउंडेशन विच इज इन टर्न ओन्ड बाई जॉर्ज सोरोस and anyone who says that the bjp is hallucinating about a soros link as you rightly said in your introduction right from the vice president of open, open society foundation salil shetty being a part of rahul gandhi's bharat yatra see soros is linked with access dot now i i have limited time so i have to interrupt you please okay 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds thank you yeah be fair yeah you can 10 seconds 10 seconds only 10 seconds only then i'll interrupt yeah thank you yeah that's not fair point is this hmm. if rahul gandhi feels that his phone is being hacked into if mahua maitra feels her phone is being hacked into if priyanka chaturvedi feels her phone is being hacked into please log into टेक इज ऑल राइट But if access. dot. org's job is to highlight and and provide a service which gives an alert if the phone is being compromised, that's something which they will do irrespective of whose phone it is. Need not necessarily be only twelve opposition MPs. It could be anybody and everybody. So uh, I I think I'm I'm way over time. I'm way over time. My apologies, Anand Ranganathan and Javed Ansari, that the two politicians in the mix have taken over your talk time today. on this network thank you very much for a fantastic debate we're going to take a short break ladies and gentlemen when we come back it's a special broadcast from jammu and kashmir how shrinagar is buzzing way past sundown and also we speak to the man who's engineering the change shrinagar leads the smart city projects across the country and we are in conversation with amir atar khan the ceo of shrinagar smart city project and also its municipal commissioner stay with us